On 11 November 2020, we are unable to gather at the Cenotaph to observe a moment of silence for veterans and serving men and women. A ceremony will be held by the 4th Battalion of the Royal Canadian Regiment, but no public attendance is permitted. Now, more than ever, it is important that we find ways to remember those who served and continue to serve in the Canadian military. In this short video, the staff at the Royal Canadian Regiment Museum found a way that we hope will inspire many to mark Remembrance Day 2020. A day of remembrance has been observed in Canada since the early 1900s. This was 28th of February, and it marks the first important victory obtained by Canadian military in a battlefield, the defeat of the Boers at Parderburn Drift during the South African War. On this day, Canadians attended parades and balls to honor their military. In 1918, King George V sent out an appeal to mark one year from the end of the First World War at 11 a.m. on November 11, with two minutes of silence. In 1921, an act in the Canadian Parliament declared that the Monday, the week of November 11, would be Armistice Day. But this conflicted with Thanksgiving and angered the veterans. In 1931, November 11 became Remembrance Day. Initially, the day was dedicated to honoring veterans of the First World War, but it now includes remembering war dead and honoring men and women of the Canadian military who served at war or in peace in all conflicts and military engagements, national or international. In Flanders Fields by John McRae. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow. Between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place and in the sky. The larks still bravely singing fly. Scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunsets glow. Loved and were loved, and now we lie. In Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw. The torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep. The poppies grow in Flanders Inspired by John McRae's poem, In Flanders Fields, the Royal British Legion adopted the poppy as a symbol of remembrance and hope in 1921. At the same time, the commander of the British Expeditionary Force, Field Marshal Douglas Haig, a native of Scotland, established a charity to assist ex-servicemen and women. Between 1921 and 1924, the poppies from the British Legion were selling so quickly that none could reach Scotland. Countess Haig, wife of the field marshal, suggested that a factory employing those men disabled by war should be started to make poppies for Scotland. From two workers, a pair of scissors and paper in 1926, the factory grew to 117 workers by 1934. In 1921, Canada had its first poppy day, and by 1922, the artificial poppies were popular. The Royal Canadian Legion formed in 1925, and the annual poppy campaign has been a fundraiser ever since. Au champ d'honneur, les coquelicots sont parsemés de lot en lot auprès des croix, et dans l'espace, les alouettes devenues lasses mêlent leur chant au sifflement des obusiers. Nous sommes morts, nous qui songions laver encore à nos parents, à nos amis. C'est nous qui reposons ici au champ d'honneur. À vous, jeunes désabusés, à vous de porter l'oriflamme et de garder au fond de l'âme le goût de vivre en liberté. Acceptez le défi, sinon les coquelicots se faneront au champ d'honneur. The museum is still closed, but we continue to engage with our public online. This short video is our team's way of paying tribute to the Canadian military. Join us and find your way to honor lest we forget. Whether we are at home working on our computers, at our desks, or in the parade square at Wolseley Barracks, we will observe two minutes of silence at 11 a.m. on November 11, 2020. 
please don't forget to remember.